Hey everybody, we're back. We know it's been a couple weeks since we put a video up. We've been extremely busy with the warehouse build out, um, getting our fish farm together and getting live bait in here, but we're done with that. So we're back. So hopefully we're gonna have some more videos. Today's video is gonna be centered around just that, live bait. Not a lot of people have live bait out here. You just gotta catch it yourself and it's been years really since anyone's had live bait. So we're gonna familiarize how to fish live bait, the setups to use, and what I like to use and what I think works best uh, for live bait. So first we're gonna start with what are, what are we, how do we do the setup? And what are we using? So for hooks with live bait, I like to use bait hooks that have a little bit thinner of a gauge and less, less damage to the fish, helps that fish or the bait swim a lot smoother. Now, my favorite that I like to use are owner mosquito hooks. Okay, these are owner mosquito hooks and um, they just they have a thinner gauge. These ones are size two. I like these for medium to small baits. Uh, we do have black and salties. Some of these fish are five and six inches. So then I like to use the Gamamatsu octopus size six. Doesn't necessarily have to be red, but these are good for those bigger five and six inch baits. I'm not gonna bait up a five or six inch bait because I ain't gonna waste that bait. But if you were, it's all rigged up the same. But the black and salties that we carry would use something like that. You don't have to go red, black is good. I like to put a little bit of red on there, the red hook, because to me it just adds a little bit more pizzazz. Other hooks that work good too, the Six Sense Wacky Rig hooks. These are what you would normally use on a wacky rig with a Senko or some other type of plastic worm like that. But I like these because it's almost like a circle hook. They're gonna hook themselves on that live bait. And again, the gauge is a little bit narrower. Another hook that works great, size one, six cents drop shot hooks. You don't have to use this brand, although that's one of my favorite bands, brands, as you might all know, because you always see it on me and that's what we're always using. But yeah, drop shot hooks work great too. So I'm gonna show you how to set up. So if you're gonna fly line, meaning there's not a lot of current, you're drifting in a boat and you want a fly line, all you're going to do is take your hook, tie it on just straight to your end, your main line here with a double polymer and that's called fly lining. It's just a hook and your line. Simplest way, cast it out, but we're gonna get it more into that. So now if we're fishing some of the deeper holes, you got some of the smaller school fish are coming up and they're they're eating you're catching them but they're the smaller guys they're the pound two pound fish we want to get to those bigger striped bass you want to get that bait down where the bigger ones because usually the bigger fish they're below those schoolies so what i do depending on wind and current i'll either use a quarter ounce egg sinker which is this here or a half ounce don't go any bigger than a half ounce if you got to go bigger than a half ounce that's a whole different show so what we do, it's super, super simple. We slide on the egg sinker first onto your line. Tie on a double polymer with your hook. Don't have my glasses, so this is a bit of a challenge. Going through twice. If you're not familiar with the double polymer, um, go ahead and go about four or five episodes back. I demonstrate how to, how to tie the double polymer. If you know that knot and the uni knot, those are probably the only two knots that you ever have to learn. They work for everything. So now, oh, sinker. What are the odds of that stuck in the crevice of the table? All right, don't use your teeth like I do, but my teeth are all jacked up, so I don't care. All right, so what I've got here is a medium-sized black and salty. This is only about a three to four inch fish here. So there's two ways to do this. If you're using the sliding egg sinker, we're going to hook this fish through the bottom of the jaw, up through the nose, and hang on. 
we're fly lining, we're going to hook this fish right above the spine, below the tail, like so. And what that allows him to do is to swim down on his own when you're fly lining. So, if you're using the Carolina or the, or the slip, sliding egg sinker hookup, I hook them on the mouth, and if we're fly lining, meaning we're not using weight, I like to hook it on its tail, cast out, wait for that big one, live bait, come on down and get it, and get yourself into some of them big fish that are harder to catch on lures. Hope to see you all here, and the next episode will be out tomorrow. You all have a great one. Remember to share, like, and subscribe. It helps us keep the channel going so we can keep some of this good advice coming. You guys have a good one.